Intel Guru Frank 26, recently emphasized the crucial importance of Iraq's hydrocarbon law, HCL, in the context of the country's economic reform and the anticipated revaluation of its currency. The Iraqi dinar, Frank 26, stressed that the activation of the HCL is an essential step toward establishing a new and more stable exchange rate for Iraq's currency. The HCL has been under discussion and anticipation for quite some time, with its full implementation seen as a key trigger for the revaluation RV of the dinar. Frank 26 pointed out that the law is designed to ensure that Iraqi citizens receive fair compensation for the country's vast oil and mineral resources. He posed a rhetorical question, suggesting it would be unjust and unrealistic for the government to calculate the value of these resources in mere pennies, potentially offering citizens a paltry sum, such as 47 cents per month. His comment highlighted the unfairness of underestimating the value of Iraq's resources and the people's entitlement to a fair share. In a related development, significant news has emerged from Iraq regarding the government's efforts to address the disparity between the official exchange rate of the dollar and the black market rate against the dinar. This move is part of a broader strategy aimed at stabilizing the country's currency and educating citizens about monetary reforms. According to Frank 26, this initiative is monumental, signaling a major step forward in Iraq's efforts to combat currency manipulation and corruption. The government is openly confronting the issue of how thieves and corrupt practices have been profiting from manipulating the currency, stealing the value of the dinar from ordinary citizens. This policy change, led by Prime Minister Sudani's government, is seen as a direct response to those practices. By taking control of the situation and working to curb corruption, the government aims to protect the purchasing power of the Iraqi people. Intel Guru Mars also expressed cautious optimism, acknowledging that significant developments in Iraq's financial system could unfold soon. Rumors about potential events and announcements have been circulating, with many speculating that key changes may take place in the very near future. However, Mars urged people to remain calm and wait for official confirmations, cautioning against getting too excited prematurely. He emphasized that while the rumors are promising, the outcome remains uncertain. Nevertheless, he expressed hope that these developments could mark the long-awaited turning point for Iraq's economy and encouraged everyone to remain hopeful and prayerful that the long-anticipated changes were indeed about to come to fruition. In a more exuberant tone, Intel Guru Rey Rensermier conveyed his overwhelming enthusiasm for the current situation, describing his excitement as being off the charts. When asked to rate his excitement on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest, Ray Ren 98 jokingly responded that he was at a level of 12, signifying that his optimism had exceeded the highest possible level. His statement highlights the growing sense of anticipation surrounding Iraq's economic reforms and the potential for a positive breakthrough in the near future. Another major development has been the completion of Iraq's general census, which is being hailed as a significant milestone after 37 years. This census is viewed as an essential step in better understanding Iraq's population demographics and economic needs. The successful completion of the census was celebrated by the United Nations, which congratulated Iraq for reaching this important achievement. This census is expected to play a vital role in shaping future government policies, especially as Iraq moves forward with its economic transformation. In addition to these developments, Intel Guru Milishaman reported that the Central Bank of Iraq, CBI, is in the process of relocating its valuable assets to a new building. While the exact nature of these assets remains unclear, Militia Man believes the timing of this move is highly significant. The fact that the CBI's new building is now operational has raised expectations that Iraq is preparing for a major announcement, possibly related to the country's monetary reform. Militia Man views this as a positive sign that the central bank is ready to take the next steps in Iraq's financial and economic transformation. On a broader scale, Intel Guru Emetgut has been observing substantial preparations for a significant financial transformation in Iraq, which is expected to take place by the end of the year. MNT Goat has expressed confidence that while challenges may arise during this transition, Iraq is receiving increasing support from the international community, which is backing the Iraqi dinar. This external support is seen as a critical factor in ensuring that any initial difficulties will be short-lived and that the situation will stabilize rapidly once the reforms are fully implemented. Emmett Goat remains cautiously optimistic that the overall transformation will be successful, despite acknowledging the possibility of some obstacles along the way. Lastly, Intel Guru Mark shared that this week, the Commission announced the 
ratification of the Kurdistan. Parliament election results, which is seen as another step forward in the process of political and economic stabilization. Marx suggests that this development could be closely linked to the hydrocarbon law, which has been eagerly anticipated for some time. Once the official passage of the HCL is confirmed, it is expected that the revaluation of the Iraqi currency will follow shortly thereafter. This is why there is a heightened focus on monitoring the progress of the hydrocarbon law as it is seen as a catalyst for the much-anticipated currency revaluation. In summary, the unfolding events in Iraq indicate that the country may be on the brink of a major economic transformation, from the crucial activation of the hydrocarbon law to efforts to stabilize the currency and address corruption. There is a growing sense of optimism among the country's citizens and financial experts. While challenges remain, many are hopeful that the support from the international community and the government's commitment to reform will lead to a brighter economic future for Iraq. As key milestones such as the census, the CBI's new building, and the ratification of the Kurdistan election results unfold, it's clear that Iraq is preparing for significant changes that could positively impact the country's currency and financial system.